Hello and welcome to this exclusive video on Apache Hadoop vs Apache Spark, powered by vizlabs.com. In this video, we will try to answer the question, do you need Apache Hadoop to run Apache Spark? How are these two technologies different and what are the target application areas? We will also try to explore the merits and demerits of coupling these two and using them in a synchronous manner. After watching this video, you will be able to clearly distinguish between these two technologies and identify use cases to apply them accurately. Before starting any further, allow me to introduce myself. Hi guys, my name is Utsav Jha and I am the big data trainer for wizlabs.com. I am a certified Hortonworks Spark developer and a certified Hortonworks administrator as well. I enjoyed solving challenges related to data technologies and my objective is to ensure that you enjoy solving problems as much as I do. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark are two technologies that are both big data processing frameworks. However, they don't really share the same characteristics and hence are used to target different application domains. Let's try to identify the core features between them by identifying the purpose, their speeds and costs, and lastly the target area that these technologies are used to develop the applications on. Thereafter, we will try to answer the most important question, that is, do you need Apache Hadoop to run Spark? So let's move on to the first characteristic, that is purpose. Apache Hadoop is a big data processing framework that can serve both as a data center and a processing engine. The main notion behind the development of Apache Hadoop was to enable organizations to use multiple machines running on commodity hardware to perform two main tasks. The first task is to transform the data. The data processing engine used by Hadoop is called as MapReduce. Programs are developed in Java using the MapReduce API. After you have applied your processing logic to transform the data to reflect a result that you need, you can store it on Hadoop's native file system called as HDFS. Now by native, I don't mean that Hadoop has independently developed a file system apart from the one which is running on your system. But instead, this is a logical file system used by your data center, which can be used to provide a fault tolerant mechanism for storing your data. You can even use this file system for clickstream data of a website or any other big data analytical operation. Now this is exactly where Apache Spark differs from Hadoop as a processing engine. While Hadoop has a storage facility in the form of HDFS, Spark has no such native file system. It is a purely processing engine which grants developers the ability to perform lightning fast analytics and store the results onto any file system of your choice. See, with Spark, you get the ability to work with different file systems while Hadoop only offers you its native, fault-tolerant file system that is HDFS. Yes, that's right. Using Spark, you can read your data from any file system provided that you have the necessary drivers for it. So, supposing that your data was stored on the ext4 Linux partition and you have performed some analytical operations and you wish to store the data onto a Windows NTFS partition, you can do so using programs developed in Apache Spark. Now, let's head over to the second core difference, that is the speed and cost of both these processing frameworks. The speed of Hadoop's processing engine, that is MapReduce, is much slower when compared to Spark. While MapReduce processes the data in steps, Spark operates on the data in a bulk manner, that is, it operates on the entire dataset in one go. With the additional benefit of loading datasets purely into memory and persisting the transform results onto disks, Spark is known to offer performance gains of over 100 times. So does the blazing fast Spark have a win-win advantage over Apache Hadoop? After all, if they are data processing systems, why shouldn't the faster one be preferred over the other? Well, the speed of Spark for business level operations comes at a definite cost you will need to run Spark in a distributed mode that is on a cluster. This involves running multiple machines involving expensive hardware. These machines must be capable in terms of their hardware configurations, particularly RAM for Spark to be truly able to do justice to its name. Since Hadoop can run mostly on commodity hardware, 
most of your old office machines with plenty of disk space but low on RAM can be used to run a Hadoop cluster. Hence, it can be said that the cost of maintaining a Hadoop cluster is much lower than running Spark in a distributed mode. Now that we have covered the speeds and costs of both Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop, let's have a look at the use cases and the target areas, that is, when to apply which technology. Usually when data scientists and analysts need to perform an analytical operation with near real-time expectancy of results, along with graphical representations, Spark is the obvious choice. Moreover, the powerful processing engine and its flexible operating nature is used by analysts who need to combine SQL, data stream processing and graphical representation in a single application. Meanwhile, Apache Hadoop and its processing engine, that is MapReduce, is used to target areas where a batch style of execution is required. Additionally, in case you want to host a data center with some absolutely awesome fault tolerant and security features, Hadoop is like a godsend. You can define access control lists or ACLs as they are popularly known for accessing data, assigning various services to various users depending upon their authorization levels, implementing Kerberos security on your data and managing your data center in a much more efficient manner. Spark simply fails to impress as a data center as well as data security mechanisms. Spark only has authentication enabled via a shared secret while Hadoop in itself has Kerberos security enabled. So, coming on to the main question. So let's see, Hadoop's fault tolerant native file system architecture or Spark's lightning fast speed? Which one of these is better over the other? Or let's come to the real question that you have in mind. Do you need Apache Hadoop to run Apache Spark? Well, the answer to this question is both yes and no. Sorry folks, that's how it is. You see, Spark has two operation modes, that is standalone and distributed. In standalone mode, you can use the Spark engine on any system, but only utilize the system's resources. So, in a sense, no, you don't need Hadoop to run Spark here. Please do mind that this is only the standalone mode that we are talking about. Once we get to distributed Spark execution mode, things get a little more interesting. Here you run Spark over a Yarn or Mesos cluster comprising of multiple nodes. Think of these nodes as workers of a big organization trying to solve multiple tasks. Now handling so many workers is a tough and complicating job and hence the organization decides to hire a manager whose task is to keep a track of its workers and ensure their well-being at all times. The manager is also tasked with an extremely important function, that is, avoid overloading of employees. In a distributed mode of Spark, with multiple nodes being analogous to these organization workers, the manager in these cases tends to be Apache Hadoop. Data administrators use Apache Hadoop to manage the multiple nodes as part of their data centers. These nodes form a shared resource pool and programs utilize this shared pool. Spark programs are developed to use this feature to read and store data from HDFS, that is Hadoop's native file system, and function with Hadoop in conjunction in the most optimal manner. So yes, when you are running Spark in distributed mode, it is better to use Hadoop along with it. So friends, I hope this video did answer your question, that whether you need Apache Hadoop to run Apache Spark or not. That's all for this video. I hope you were able to recognize the differences between Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop and also apply the use cases accurately. I hope you are able to recognize when to use these two technologies in conjunction and when not. So that's it for this video. This is me, Utsab Jha, signing off on behalf of wizlabs.com. Thank you and have a good day.